In this video demo of impact reinforcement, I'll show you how to gain more control over reinforcement data using the visibility control. In this drawing, a reinforcement project has been divided into four different casting stages. The benefit of this, apart from the schedule being tagged with this data, is that it makes it possible to filter the schedules to create one schedule for each stage. So how do I keep track of which bars are drawn in which casting stage? I can check each bar's data on the edit bar dialog, but that will be too much work. The answer is the visibility control. The visibility control can turn the visibility of bars on or off depending on its settings for material takeoff, construction part, and casting stage. When I start the command, a floating dialog opens up which shows lists of the construction parts and casting stages used in the drawing. Clicking on the isolate button will allow me to uncheck individual data which will make bars with this setting invisible. In this way I can cycle through the data to quickly see if the bar data is correct. For example, here in casting stage 3, I find a couple of bars that should be in casting stage 4 instead. I can then change them to the correct setting with the filter still on. Clicking on update will confirm that the change has been made. In the same way I find a bar that, that's not set for material takeoff. Clicking on un unisolate will show all reinforcement again.